20 years have passed since the late Paul Hunter won his third Masters title prior to his untimely death in 2006, and on the eve of his treble, world number one Ronnie O'Sullivan has paid tribute to him. World number one in snooker on the anniversary of his third Masters victory, Paul Hunter, dubbed the Beckham of Snooker by Ronnie O'Sullivan, has received praise. Hunter, who rose to fame in 2001 and 2004, won three titles in a row before tragically dying of cancer in 2006 at the age of 27. His three triumphs were all dramatic 10-9 deciders against O'Sullivan, the 2004 Invitational finalist who had been defeated. Since then, the Rocket has gone on to take his success to unprecedented levels. Ahead of kicking off his campaign for an eighth title against Ding Junhui, O'Sullivan has ensured to pay tribute to Beckham of the Bays. He said, Paul was an unbelievable talent. He definitely had that star power and transcended the game. He was the Beckham of the snooker, wasn't he? He was a good-looking boy. He always had a smile on his face and was a good lad. He had a lovely family, was a lovely lad, and was brilliant for the game. Paul and I shared some wonderful moments and memories. Every player adored him, and he will always be remembered. The snooker players and everyone who knew him will always hold a special place in their hearts for him. It is impossible to overstate Hunter's influence on the game. In honor of Hunter, the renowned Waterfront Crystal Masters Trophy was renamed in 2017. In the meantime, many people rank his historic match against O'Sullivan, in which he overcame a 6-1 deficit, as one of the greatest ever. Since then, the 48-year-old has asserted that he, Hunter, Mark Williams, Stephen Hendry, John Higgins, and Matthew Stevens represented the pinnacle of snooker during the mid-2000s. He continued, I've always maintained that there was a golden age of snooker when players like the legendary Paul Hunter, Hendry, Higgins, Williams, and Stevens competed against each other. That was, in my opinion, the greatest top six ever. It's not just O'Sullivan who has praised Hunter on the eve of his third victory. After winning the Masters 30 years earlier, Alan McManus, a former champion, also gave tribute. He has stated that going to the champions event afterward is among his favorite memories. While he still hopes that a similar event is held, he wishes Hunter could have been present. I remember one year there was an evening for all the previous winners, and Kirk Stevens was invited because he made the first Masters 147 ever, the speaker recalled. It was amazing to be among those players, because you have to be a special player to win the Masters. I wasn't, but the rest were all special players. It would be great if they did another one. But one regret I would have would be that Paul Hunter wouldn't be there. He's an icon of the game. He was some player. He would be there in spirit with the trophy. These things are important to snooker people. If the game's inside you like it is for me.